I love to throw on beds. I think it's so much easier. But not all wheels come with bed pins, so you can use beds like this. But you can make it yourself. You can drill holes and you can mount the pins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you do that. A couple of weeks ago, I got this small and much cheaper wheel uh, from Viva. And it's actually been surprisingly good. Of course, it doesn't take very big balls of clay like uh, my Shimbo, but it's fine for at least up to two, three kilo, maybe even more. I haven't tested the limits yet. But one thing I don't like about it is that it doesn't have bed pins, so I cannot use beds. And I love to throw on beds. But uh, you can make them yourself, and that's what I'm gonna do today. So you need a few things to do that. First of all, you need, of course, your bed. <laughs> These ones are in a size that is sort of a standard also in the market. The Shimbo I have is 35 centimeter wide, this one is only 25, but you can also get like table models of Shimbo that is 25, so it's still a standard. And the standard size of the holes are also the same for these, um, these uh, wheels. I got these uh, beds from uh, one of my suppliers in Germany that have been producing beds for me. He does excellent beds. Um, I'll put a link somewhere to his profile. I can highly recommend him. Uh, nice quality. What I like about these beds is that the clay sticks and when it, <laughs> and when it dries, it releases itself. So it's very easy to work with these beds. Anyway, I suggest that you get the beds and that um, you um, get the ones, of course, with holes in so they're ready for bed pins, like these ones. Uh, because if there is a little bit of a difference between the beds you have and the official uh, standards, then you drill holes wrong. So I'm going to use the bed as a, as, a, as a template for the holes. The next thing you need is a marker. You need a marker to uh, mark uh, where exactly the hole should be. And it's important that it's very, very precise. Gonna get back to all that. And then of course, you need the pins. These ones, I don't actually know what they're called in English. In Denmark, we call them cylinder screws or something, bad translation. But it's basically like a head up here. Uh, and then you have uh, the area where you can screw. And as you can see, it goes perfectly into the bed. On the other side of the wheel head, I'm gonna mount this again. I don't know all the technical terms for these kind of widgets in English, but you know what it is. So I'm gonna put that on the other side and I'm gonna screw it on with this. This is easy because you could also use a different uh, bolt, but I use this because it's easy to then unmount it if I don't want for something. I got a few more than I need, just in case I somehow messed it up or something, but I don't think I will. Then you also need drill bits, and of course, <laughs> some sort of a drill. I have this Develt that I really like. And uh, most wheel heads are made in aluminum, and that's very soft metal. So they sh you should be able to drill through with just about anything. But I picked this set that I already have, which is for steel. <laughs> so it can go through almost anything. It's just eh, the stronger they are, the easier it is, and the less shaky it may be. I don't know. And then I have this one. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're familiar with this tool, but um, this tool you use to um, just hammer a small indent uh, where you made the mark, because that's gonna make it easier for the drill to kind of uh, uh, fall into the right center. If you don't have that and you start drilling, maybe the, 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 the drill bit is gonna float around and it won't be precise. And it has to be very, very precise. So this is the most difficult part of it. So let's start out with uh, measuring where we actually have to put the holes. Before you mark it up, it's important to make sure that the, the bed is centered on the wheel head. And uh, as you see, it's a little bit tricky because I want to turn it around to see that it's centered, but if I do, it will kind of glide off. Uh, 
So even though it's not centered now, so let's try to center it, and then it glides off. So to combat this, what I did is I put a little bit of tape, just do some duct tape and folded it, and that will make it stick to the wheel head. So that makes it a lot easier. Of course, the size of the bat is exactly the same size as the wheel head, so you can sort of feel around, and you get almost centered. But now if you look at this, there's still a little bit of wobbling. So it's a little bit too much to the side. I can just push it just a little bit. But still, it will stick with the tape. Still a little bit moving that direction. Oh, that was too much. So, now you can see it's totally centered on the bed. The other thing that's important is that you can't see it now, of course, because it's underneath the bed, uh, the, the wheel head. But there's some flanges going like this to uh, strengthen the, 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 the wheel head. And of course, you cannot screw into those flanges. So you gotta put them in between. And now I actually forgot to check that when I put this on, but there's a flange here, and there's a flange here. So they go in here. So it's actually right in between that. And that gives me enough room also for the screw. So I was lucky enough to position it exactly where it should be. So the next step is to mark up the hole with a pin. Uh, I like a sharp pin like this uh, that can somehow leave a mark on the wheel head. And here, of course, you have to be, I'm just gonna turn it off here. Here you have to be very precise. It has to be exactly in the middle. So I'm gonna try and see if I can do that. And then look down and see, is it exactly in the middle? This one looks good. And the other one here. No, see that wasn't too good. Hmm. So now I have to remove that mark. Uh, I'll see if I can. I'll see if I can somehow lift it here. I can erase it with my finger, so I'll just make sure that it's still uh, here, centered here, and um, I'll check that it's still running uh, smoothly around. It is. And then I will try again. Now, that's better. So now we can remove the wheel head and uh, we're ready to make the mark with the marker. I'm just gonna give it a light hammer and uh, excuse me because it's gonna be a little bit noisy. Just gonna put it right there. So It's a little bit difficult to see, but there is a mark. And the other side. Yeah, I think this is good. So the next step is the drilling. But I'm in my workshop now where I have all the clay and I'm throwing things. And I don't want to be drilling in here because there might be some metal pieces flying around and I want that in my clay. So I'm gonna move into uh, another room. It's not that messy. It's just those little grains of uh, metal. I definitely don't want into my clay. Now I moved into a different room. Uh, but before I do the drilling, I just want to take one last time if I can see the, the little indents I made and if they're still dead centered 
Um, en uh, it looks perfect. So now I'm ready to drill. The width of these screws are six millimeter where I need the hole, the 10 millimeter in the top. That's the standard size for the bats. So I need to drill a six millimeter hole. But in order to do that, a good trick that uh, a craftsman told me is to start out with a very thin uh, drill bit because that's easier to get through and easier to get straight through. Uh, so I'm gonna start with whatever small one I have. That's gonna work as a guide when we then change to the six millimeter drill bit. So let me just check here and see what we have. I think maybe not the very the thinnest one, but I think something like this. I think it's, uh, yeah, I can't see two millimeters or something like that. Maybe one millimeter. It's a little bit difficult to see here, but that doesn't matter. It's just a small one. So then put that in. So of course it would be easier if you um, if you had like a, a, a I don't know mechanical drill you know where it's completely uh, horizontal or vertical but it's um, I don't have that and it's a little difficult to unmount this uh, wheel head so instead I'm just going to be very careful and make sure that it's uh, completely uh, vertical so um, oh yeah the last thing because we are drilling into this and uh, as you see. This actually don't go any deeper than here, so I'm not risking drill it into my, um, my 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 wheel. But in case the the distance is smaller or your drill bit is longer, then put a piece of wood underneath because then you will drill into that instead of into your wheel box or whatever you call it. So let's try this out. And I'm sorry if it's going to be a little bit noisy, but uh, that's how it goes. So. So, and these little bits are very <laughs> sticky, and, and these are the ones I definitely don't want into my, um, my clay. I'm gonna clean that up in a second. That was the first uh, guide, and then for the second here. And of course, I forgot to say, please wear some protection glasses. This is not high speed. They're probably not going to fly around. But if they do and you get them in your eyes, it's not very good. So please protect yourself. So that was the guides. Now, of course, there is a risk that you don't get it right. I will just take a last time here before I drill it up. And um, it definitely looks very good. But in case you end up messing it around, you can still make some new drills. You still have <laughs> a few places. And then you, of course, you will have a hole in your bed, but it's actually not such a big problem. So now we'll go to, um, to the six millimeter. And I think this is the one. And just to be sure, I just want to take the screws, <laughs> the cylinder screws, and try and see if it's actually right and that definitely seems right but i did measure them uh, so it is six millimeter and i picked a six millimeter drill but sometimes <laughs> you mess up the order in your drill box and uh, this is perfect put this back So now it's time to, um, to open it up. And now we have the guide, so it's much easier to drill through this than it would have been with um, just doing it the big size first.
And of course, this is a little bit longer, so it could actually reach my, um, my, my wheel. So I should probably, I forgot to do it here, I should probably put this piece of wood underneath. And now we do the other one. So, I'll take the vacuum cleaner in a second, <laughs> get rid of all this. So now, let's see if they fit. They do. <laughs> let's. let's try the other one. It fit. So let's see <laughs> how the bat fit. Of course, I haven't screwed them on yet, but um, they should. It fits perfectly. So that's good so far. So what I want to do now is I want to screw on uh, the bed. It's a little bit difficult to see, but I'm going to mount this uh, underneath. I'm going to screw this on. And the reason I use this is because it's going to uh, even out the pressure on a, on a larger surface. So it's probably going to tie a little better. And this is probably going to be so easy. <laughs> but I have to do it sort of in the blind. So. Ah. Probably easier just to hold on to the screw in the, in the button and then screw this in, at least the first part of it. And now it's sort of cast on, it's much easier. And I'm just gonna tighten it, that's fine. And the other one, now where did I put this? Another one. Yeah, you could use a couple of more hands, but I guess it worked out okay like this. So just screw it in here. And now it's it gets done, so to speak. So now I have bed pins and um, it works. These ones are not so high, the, the screws here. I'm not sure if they're high enough. Otherwise, I can go and get some that is a little bit higher. There's all kinds of variations, but I think, I think for these beds and for this wheel, it's going to work okay. That's it. It really wasn't that difficult. And now I have a wheel with bad pins all made by myself. And it costs so little. I don't know, these screws were just, I don't know, a couple of dollars for all of it. So that's very, very cheap. And um, it seems to work pretty good. So um, next step is to try it out and throw some things uh, with the bed. But I already know the surface of these beds. I know it works. I just want to make sure that they're tight enough and that um, they don't fly off when, um, whenever um, I throw, because it is not so high the head. I didn't think about that too much <laughs> when I bought them. You want some that are thinner than your, than your bats, of course, because you don't want them to stick out here. But I think these are gonna be good enough. But, um, time will tell, otherwise I can unscrew them and uh, maybe get some with a little bit of a higher head size. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope that you are now <laughs> fully confident and ready to drill uh, bed pins into your own wheel head if you don't have it and you would like to have that. So um, I hope to see you again next week. Uh, I will put up a new video as usual at uh, 5 p.m. Central European time. 
And until then, I just hope that you will subscribe, share, and if you have a comment, maybe a better way to do what I do, <laughs> you're very welcome. So uh, until then, have a great day. Thank you.